From the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC Chief Meteorologist Ron Roberts. Well, good afternoon, everybody. We, we take a look at the satellite imagery. These high clouds, which are around 30,000 feet or so, are ice crystals, and they tend to make for some very nice sunsets. And that's exactly we have a little streak of those high clouds moving over the area now. Uh, and again, a couple of weak fronts, but all in all, things looking pretty nice across the southern plains this afternoon. Uh, again, this is a, an, another one of these little weak fronts. Cold fronts come through like when you throw a little stone in the water, you know, you see several ripples. Well, that's how the air is, too. The atmosphere is the same way. So there's a little bit of a front moving to the area again, keeping the temperatures on hold before they warm up. And they're going to warm up because on the jet stream flow, you see this? This is a ridge. Here's your ridge axis. Underneath this ridge, warmer temperatures. And it's on its way. Right now, again, you see the light north wind, occasionally gusty up in the panhandle near Titulia, but lighter wind across most of the southern plains right now in the Lubbock area. And temperature change, yeah, a little, a little colder, 6 degrees in Lubbock. Lubbock, 1 degrees and up in Amarillo, so there's a bit of a change in temperatures. And speaking of Amarillo, this is the Amarillo Live Sky View. And I want to say hello to my in-laws who have come into Lubbock today. And uh, my mother-in-law has actually learned how to use a Keurig. Good job. We're live and local. Here we go. Te uh, oh, yeah, I'm in trouble. Temperatures 52 degrees in Floyd data. Wind light, little pill 50 with a light southwest wind. Doppler 1. Uh, again, at Roosevelt School in the eastern Lubbock area, 50, 51 degrees low for the temperatures. Very uniform across the South Plains today. Denver City, I'm there, 55 degree temperature readings. Now we bring up the different view of Amarillo. What we showed you all ago, of course, was Lubbock and God City. But here, here's Amarillo, nice view of their downtown, and we'll, we'll move on from there. Uh, that was not my fault. <clears throat> What? No, no. <laughs> Why are you showing Amarillo? We showed Amarillo because we show other places too. Oh, okay. I yeah. Was just we just don't show Colorado or Denver. I know. You, well, you, let's get a tower cam up there. Yeah, I left the tower cam up there. That's my <laughs> fault. All right, precipitation <laughs> opportunities over the next few days are very isolated until we get about Monday and Tuesday. Forecast models perhaps about 500 of an inch. Not unusual this time of the year for precipitation amounts to be fairly light. However, when you look at the GFS forecast model through uh, Thursday, it does bring in about 2,800 of an inch. And if this validates, and I hope it does, Northwest South Plains getting a little dry, 8,300 of an inch and over an inch in Clovis, and that precipitation area is needed. And take a look at this forecast model. Yeah, the European, no, not so much in the precipitation. Jerry, you got yourself a rain gauge in the rain gauge giveaway and temperatures hour by hour. Well, overnight in the 30s, but a nice warm-up begins as we get into lunchtime by tomorrow. And the forecast temperatures for tonight, 32 degrees. Yeah, that's right, Lauren. That's the freezing temperature. 60 degrees by Friday afternoon. 68 breezy. More sun. 68 Monday. Uh-oh. Get a little wind in here on Tuesday. Mid-upper 50s on Wednesday. Well, watch for that chance of rain. Hopefully that happens. Boy, we could uh, use a good quarter of an inch. If we do receive a quarter of an inch in Lubbock, that'll push it up at least close to our average precipitation for the That'd month, nice. which is about three quarters of an inch. That's really good. And a good weekend, too. It'll be really nice. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, Texas Tech is going to make Kentucky wish they'd never come to God City. Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, thank you.